We do know that prostate cancer is probably a lifestyle cancer, maybe similar to breast cancer. Um, we know this primarily from epidemiologic evidence and some laboratory-based evidence. For example, high-fat diets, Western-style diets are associated with an increased risk of prostate cancer. Whereas in countries like China or Japan, where they use relatively low-fat and less animal fat type diets, they have less prostate cancer. It'll be interesting over the next few years as those countries become uh, more westernized in their diet, whether the incidence of prostate cancer, for example, will go up. So a lot of these epidemiology studies are associative. They basically say, you know, it looks like eating less fat may be associated with less prostate cancer. And in the laboratory, in mice, it's true. But we don't know yet if fat directly causes prostate cancer. We don't know that. And obviously, I've taken care of patients who are uh, uh, marathon runners who get prostate cancer, and I've taken care of obese men who never get prostate cancer. So it's not a, uh, a direct one-to-one -one relationship. Uh, there are other dietary factors that have been linked to prostate cancer uh, prevention, uh, things like soy protein, various antioxidants like lycopene, which is the red uh, material that in, in watermelon and tomatoes. A lot of these are, are though, as I said earlier, associative. They, they're not proven, but they may have some uh, beneficial effect in some populations. The problem is that we don't know if I take more tomato juice or, or other lycopene, whether it would have any impact in me over the long term. So my general recommendation to my patients uh, who are concerned about this is to eat a healthy diet. Uh, minimize red meat, minimize a high fat diet, increase the amount of fruits and vegetables. And ironically, a lot of the things that have been associated are associated with a heart healthy diet. So everyone kind of already knows what they should be eating to keep their heart healthy. And the same thing is likely true for prostate cancer.